In this example, we are asked how much power is dissipated by a 150 ohm resistor when 3 milliamps of current is flowing through it. So, as usual, we will begin by writing down our given information, and we have resistance given as 150 ohms, and we have a current given equal to 3 milliamps. That's 3 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. And what we are asked to find is how much power. So we're looking for power. Now we'll look for a known relationship between the given information and the unknown we are trying to solve for. And we have this form of Joule's law. Power is I squared times R. Since we know I, we know R, we are in a position to solve for P. So the solution P is equal to I squared, that's 3 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, squared times a resistance of 150 ohms. And we get 1.35 times 10 to the minus 3, or approximately 1.4 milliwatts. And that's what we were asked to find for this example. Example 2. A 60 watt light bulb draws half an amp. What is the resistance of the bulb's filament? Given we have power as 60 watts, and the current is given as one half of an amp. We are asked to find R, the resistance of the filament of the light bulb. What relationship do we know between power, current, and resistance? Well, we have power is I squared R. And we're asked to solve for R in this case, so we will rearrange that algebraically and write that R is equal to the power divided by the current squared. Now, since we know power and current, we are in a position to find the resistance. So we'll write that R is equal to the power, that's 60 watts, divided by the current squared, that's 1 half of an amp squared. That's going to be 60 watts divided by 1 half squared is 1 quarter amp squared. And that's going to be the same as 4 times 60, and that will be 240 ohms. Example 3. In the circuit shown, the resistor has 18 volts across it. How much power is it dissipating? Given information, a voltage across the resistor is 18 volts. And we see from the diagram we are also given the fact that the resistor has a value of 400 ohms. We are asked to find how much power it is dissipating, so we're looking for power P. Can we find a known relationship between P, V, and R? And we can. We can write that P is equal to V squared, the voltage squared across the resistor, divided by the resistance. Since we know the voltage and the resistance, we are in a position to solve for P. So we'll put in the values that we have. Uh, we have 18 volts squared divided by 400 ohms, and that's going to equal 0 0.81 watts, or 810 milliwatts, which is the preferred way to report this answer. Example 4. In the circuit shown, the resistor is dissipating an eighth of a watt of power. What is the voltage across the resistor? Voltage across the resistor, V sub R we'll call it, in, with this polarity. Now this is not a simple circuit, meaning it has more than one load and we haven't dealt with that yet. However, our question deals only with 
parameters related to the resistor and were given information related to the resistor and asked to solve information related only to the resistor. So we don't need to know anything about this component given the information that we have and what we're asked to solve for. Given information, we have first of all that the resistance we can see from the diagram is 330 ohms. And we're told that the power being dissipated by the resistor is one eighth of a watt. We are asked to find the voltage across the resistor. I'll call that V sub R for the voltage across the resistor. Now, we'll look for a relationship that we know between the given information, R and P, resistance and power, and the unknown information we're solving for, the voltage across the resistor. And we know this relationship, that power for a resistive load, can be written as V squared over R where the V we're looking for here is the voltage across the resistor. So we'll write it using that notation. Now we're going to solve this for V. So we'll first write that V squared is equal to the power times the resistance. And that's not solved for V, that's just solved for uh, the voltage squared. So now we'll take the square root of both sides and the voltage across the resistor we are looking for, and these should be R's here. is going to be the square root of the power times the resistance. And we'll use that to solve this problem. So V sub R is equal to the square root of power was given as 1 8 of a watt times the resistance of 330 ohms. And we get approximately 6.4 volts. That's the voltage across the resistor.